Welcome to a new tutorial on Daz Studio Animations. Today I will show you how to make your own Uniblocks. For this you will need to own Animate 2. The price is a bit hefty, but you might get it at a real good price on Daz often recurring sales. This will not work on the default Animate Lite so you need Animate 2. When you purchased it go to Orders in the menu and on the top find Serial Numbers. Copy the serial number and open DAS Studio. In the help menu find about installed plugins and paste your serial number next to animate to plugin. Let's begin our tutorial by choosing an actor. Today I will use a DAS Dog 2. Let's pick Little Zorro. We will need a floor prop to get the posing right. Now I will create a camera, choose copy active view and click accept. Go to the camera tab and choose headlamp off. Then use the camera view. Click the timeline tab and select the dog. Now let's find the poses we want to use for our animation. From standing position let's move the timeline to frame 30. Then choose the sitting pose. As you can see the dog moves away from its standing position, so we have to move it up. The problem with some animals is that they get deformed when you move them. So choose perspective view and correct the problem. As you can see the back legs moves into the floor, so we have to track back in the timeline and correct the movements of the back legs. Now we want to move up the legs as it starts sitting down. Move the frames along the animation and correct the legs as it progresses to sit. To give the animation some extra movement, let's move its ears a bit. 
Select the head and choose the Pose tab, filter by writing ear, and find the morph that you want to use. Now click Animate 2, and in the grey zone, right-click and choose Create Under Blocks from Studio Keyframes. As we have morphed the ears, fill in the morph's value as well, and click Accept. Now we have created an unnamed block with our animation. Now let's save this as our new block. Right click on the unnamed block and choose saved as new. Fill in your title for this new block and choose animate as the directory. Let's delete little Zorro and load another DAS dog 8 to test our new new block. I will see how this looks in iRay mode, as it has deforce hair. It looks a little bright so let's go to the render settings, and decrease the exposure value. Now open Animate 2 and look for our Unni block we just made. It should be in the Animate directory in which we saved it. Double click the block to add it to Animate 2. This Unni block can be used on any of the Daz Dog 2 that you own. I hope this tutorial will be useful to you and thank you for watching. More tutorials will be available soon.